Hi everyone, welcome to week two of our Neighborhood Naturalist series. The theme this week, invertebrates. Invertebrates are found all around us, on land and in water. Invertebrates have no backbone or spinal cord. Invertebrates represent over 90% of all animal species living on the planet. They provide humans with food, such as fruits and vegetables, by pollinating flowers are an important component of food chains and webs, and also act as key indicators to determine the overall health of ecosystems by the presence or absence of certain species. Now, in order to find super cool invertebrates in your neighborhood, you have to start to think like a super cool invertebrate. Typically speaking, invertebrates prefer areas that are dark, damp, and cool. Some of my favorite places to check for invertebrates are underneath fallen logs, rocks, bricks, underneath anything really. They love to live in puddles or damp places and you can even find some really cool invertebrates living right inside your home. Oh hi there I'm just in my driveway looking for ants which by the way are invertebrates. The variety of invertebrates is absolutely incredible all the way from the tiny ants I'm looking for all the way up to some pretty large animals like the giant squid, which can be up to 13 meters in length, making it the largest invertebrate on Earth. This kind of diversity makes invertebrates really interesting to study because there's always something new we can learn about them. One of my favorite invertebrates is dragonflies. They have a really cool life cycle. They start their life as a larval form called a nymph that lives in the water. It molts or sheds its exoskeleton several times before finally pupating to become the adult dragonfly, which can take anywhere from three months up to three years depending on the species of dragonfly. Look for invertebrates in your neighborhood. What insect is it? What family does it belong to? 